Okay, on number one, let's start by condensing the exponent, this right here. So since it is subtracted, what operation do I use to condense it? Division. Division. So we have e to the power of natural log of, what is 12 divided by 2? 6. What is the understood base that I have in my exponent? This right here has understood base of? One, e, 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 that's for log. Okay. What do you think I'm going to do with these group right here? This group. Cancel them out. My answer is six. If you wanted to drop and cross, you'll still get the same answer. So I'm going to stick with that rule. Okay. Let's go on to number four. Okay. What is happening to number four? It says to use a change of base formula, right? So I'm going to just use change of base as our normal base log of 10, meaning I'm not going to write out the, uh, the 10. Let's all write out log, top and the bottom. Then I'm going to write 25 on the top, 8 on the bottom. Same thing on the next one, log on the top and the bottom. 3 on top, 5 on bottom. Another set of logs. 8 on top, 3 on the bottom. And something unique is happening here. Can I reduce something? Yeah. So we know what goes away. Okay, log of 3's go away. And then log of what? 8. Eight. So we have remaining of the following. We have log of 25, ooh, 25 <laughs> over log of 5. Can I just leave it like that? Can I also write it as this though? Can I say log base 5 of 25 then? Yeah, because that will be the change of base formula to this one. Could we also further compute? Yes. 5 to the power of something is 25. What is that? So we know the answers to. Boom. Here's what kids would do by making up math. They'll go, hey, 25 over 5. Don't, don't do that. The log is stuck all together, all right? Okay, let's go on to number seven. On number seven, I am going to put this negative to the power. And I'm also going to change the eight into something with the base number of two. So to get eight, we have two to the power of what? Three. And then we have log base two of three to the negative one. And then something unique. Ooh. When you have a power over a power, they multiply, right? Now, even when they multiply, can I go ahead and move that 3 to the other power and multiply it as negative 3? Yeah? Let's write it, rewrite it. 2 to the power of log base 2 of 3 to the negative 3. What do you notice right here? 2 logs. We have little number 2, big number 2. They cancel out. So we simply have... 3 to the negative 3, which is technically 1 over 3 to the 3rd. What is 3 to the 3rd? 1 over 27. Did someone say 9? Stop it. All right. Okay, let's go to number 12. So on number 12, we have three logs within each other, meaning we have composition, meaning we have to start from the inside. So let's go ahead and bracket the first part. 2 to the power of something is 16. What is that something? 4. Now let's go to the next bracket. 2 to the power of something is 4. What is that something? 2. And let's go to our last one. 4 to the power of something is 2. What is that? 1 half. Because square root of 4 is 2, so 1 half. And that is our final answer. Mm -hmm. All right, for the next one, I'm going to actually write it with some work on this one. So this is going to give us 5 to the power of something is equal to 625. This right here is going to give us 625 to the power of something is equal to 5. <coughs> OK, 
Okay, let's kind of think about what's going to happen. This number is going to be greater than 1, right? This number is going to be less than 1. Any idea what those two being multiplied should equal? Why is that? Good, because it's got to be 1. Yep. As long as your base number and the little number has something identical, it'll always give you the reciprocal. Mm -hmm. Anytime there's a reciprocal, it's going to be a one. It's going to be a one. Okay. okay. Was that the last one? Oh, we had number one. Okay, let's do number one on the last category. So on the last category, they kind of gave us um, what to put in. If you see log base five of two, you're putting in A. And if you see log base five, oh goodness, of three, we're gonna put in B. And then log base five of seven, we're gonna put in C. So looking at this, it's already condensed. So what operation am I going to use to, to expand it? We're gonna subtract it. So log base five of nine minus log base five of 25. But the problem is I don't see a nine anywhere. I don't see a 25 anywhere. So what I can do is write out the nine in a different form. Can I say three squared? Yeah. And then on the next one, how would I write the 25 instead? Five squared. Five squared. Bless you. And then can I bring the power to the front? Yeah? So when I do, I get two log base five of three minus two log base five of five. Okay, are there some that we already have? Do I have log base five of three already? Yes. What letter is gonna represent that? So two B. Do I have a letter to represent log base five of five? No. But what is that? A. Mm, log base five of B, five is what? Little number, big number. That's one, it's gone. So minus two and we're done.